My grandma died due to breast cancer, so I can truly understand the feeling on how devastating will be to watch cancer patients who suffer with various side effects of chemotherapy yet wouldn't get any better. Ever wonder what leads to ineffective chemotherapy? What if I say it's just due to the presence of a tiny 4KB glutathione S transferase P1 GST P1 gene? GST P1 is found to be greatly overexpressed among cancer patients. Who is to blame for this natural occurrence? Rather than to just sit and continue this endless blame game, past research has started with numerous studies and came up with a solution which by utilizing anthracyanic acid as GST P1 inhibitor. However, this class A inhibitor was found to have significant side effects with poor efficiency. Sadly, problems still remain unsolved. Hence, for my research, I have then stepped in for the mission in discovering more ideal and effective potential GST P1 inhibitors. But how I can do that since labs are closed during COVID-19? Well, I utilize CBDOC, a latest automatic computational tool, together with some spark of biological knowledge to perform molecular docking. Protein GSTP1 obtained from Protein Data Bank PDB, together with three potential GSTP1 inhibitors of Aronofin, TLK199, and TLK286, that were chosen based on literature studies, were docked accordingly. Docking was also conducted between GSTP1 and classic inhibitor of anthracyanic acid as reference for comparison purpose. Binding affinities and protein ligand inter interactions are the two main criteria in determining the eligibility of the potential inhibitors. Based on docking results analysis, TLK199 and TLK286 of high negativity binding affinities with majority number of critical amino acids as similar to anthracyanic acid have been identified as the potential inhibitors that may be capable in regulating GSTP1 level into normal range. With these two potential additional inhibitors, cancer patients can now breathe a sign of relief in undergoing more effective chemotherapy that leads to successful recovery. To me, if cancer can be treated as important as current global pandemic of COVID-19, probably there will be a cure for it now. Thank you.